Welcome to Macy's Cooking Corner. I'm your host, Staff Ordains, and we have the lovely Dr. David Knowlton, who is who has come back from Mexico, is that cool? Yeah, no, I was Peru. In last week. Sorry. No, I was in oh, Peru you were? And then I was in and Mexico the next last week. Oh, my goodness, mm -hmm. our traveling cook, and this is amazing. <laughs> Anthropologist. Mm -hmm. you, I'm sure you've heard of him before. And mm -hmm. so, what were you doing there last time? Well, last week. W in Mexico, I went, yeah. well, I, I just went down to have fun, of course. Oh, lucky. This is a wonderful country, <laughs> nice people. But uh -huh. I went to a conference. I presented a paper. Oh, okay. And hung out with colleagues and mm -hmm. ate some good tacos. And, oh, you nice. Know, just ordinary life. Absolutely. And so some mariachi. Really? Yeah. Where is it? Mariachi? Mariachi is where I play the trumpet. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah. Sing beery songs. Oh, I love it. It's a great yeah. time, especially late at night, isn't oh, yeah, it? Absolutely. You know. But anyway, mm -hmm. we won't talk about that when we're here. So today, what are you going to be making for us? Well, today, since last time we were here, uh -huh. you mentioned that you love vegetarian cuisine. Absolutely, yes. And so I thought, well, you know, I just got back from Mexico. Let's do tacos. Right. So I know my thing here has been Peruvian cooking, but uh -huh. yeah, I like Latin in general. Yes, I do too. So the idea was to do vegetarian tacos. Okay. Now, Mexico just has a world of tacos. You mm -hmm. know, here in the United States, you think of taco like Taco Bell. That's you right. Know, the folded dried tortilla yes. with the ground beef. Yes, yeah. Grated cheese and uh -huh. lettuce and tomatoes. Um, no, that is not. The Mexicans don't think of those as tacos. Oh. The taco is is a tortilla that's folded around most anything. Uh huh. And so Mexico's just filled with things that can make tacos. Wow. And so one of the keys for tacos is a tortilla. Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd talk first of all just a little bit about tortillas. Okay. And we'll talk about different kinds and maybe even make a tortilla really. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Uh -huh. if you'd like. I'd love that. And so we're going to make, just so people know, we're going to make a mushroom and pasilla chili taco. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a fried cheese taco, which oh. will be surprising to you. Right. And then we're going to make a potato cheese and what they call rajas, which are strips of poblano peppers. Oh, and very nice. And that'll be enrolled in fried tacos. Oh. And I think people will like it. And then just for the carnivores, yes. we're going to do a quick carne asada. Okay. Which is? Uh, it's grilled meat. No, oh, no, no. ah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that is wonderful. Okay, so what do we start off with? What well, would we the first thing we're going to do is make some tortillas. So let me grab the tortilla press over here. Oh. And I can ask Teresa who, Wilson, who's so kind. In the back to it's our other cook prep. that we have. Teresa usually is at the front of the program. And she I is. Do it without her. Teresa, can you hand me the masa, please? Now, you know, tortillas are made with corn. Okay. And here in the New World, corn is really the staff of life. Mm -hmm. um, we hardly eat anything here in the United States that doesn't have corn sugar right. or yes. corn in it somewhere. Uh, but you know, my true. uncle who's from Switzerland, he'd laugh at us when we'd eat corn on the cob. He thought it's we were animals. It's so true. Uh, do, you, do you like corn? I corn? love corn, and I lived in um, uh -huh. France, and it was the same thing. Yeah. I could not find corn in the summer. I didn't eat it. No, they don't. It's usually mm -hmm. for their cattle. Yep. And then I did get corn, and it was corn for the cattle, and I couldn't believe no, it was just for that. Starchy. And it was disgusting, yes. Yeah, no, in fact, uh, Americans in France get really freaked out when yeah. anybody gets. <laughs> Fresh, sweet corn, the American uh -huh. community goes absolutely bonkers. Yeah. So they have, you know, corn on the 4th of July. Right. But in Mexico, right. they have, I don't know, maybe thousands of varieties of corn. Right. Every community has its own kinds of corn. Mm -hmm. And so they've been eating corn for thousands of years. Wow. Now, you can't make tortillas just from your ordinary corn. It's not like you take the corn and grind it. Right. What you need to do is a process that is technically called it's a word in Nahuatl, the original language of the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. It's called nixtamal. You have to make it, or they call it nixtamalización, which is a little fancy. Right. But this, uh, this dough is called nixtamal. Mm -hmm. Here, let me just hand you a little ball, and if you'd roll it for me, maybe make a little ball out of that. Oh. That's nixtamal. So. It's kind of like Play-Doh, isn't it? It is, actually. Yeah, now the way you get nixtamal uh -huh. is you take your kernels of corn and you soak them in lime water. So lime water means you take calcium. Mm -hmm. And so like limestone or ashes, mm -hmm. and you let it, you mix it with the water, the corn goes in there, it sits all night long, mm -hmm. and then in the morning, the corn loses its husk and it's transformed. And right. what it does, it makes much more of the protein. And see, you're doing that wonderful. You're making what they'd call a sope. Oh, so I just you take that and you make a little edge on it now, mm -hmm. and we'd fry that up, and that would be a little thing you could use okay. to eat on. Oh, as like a, uh -huh. and put something in it, you mean? Yeah, exactly. We'll just put that on here, oh. let it start cooking. Oh. So that's a soap <laughs> that you just made without even knowing it. Wow. Now what okay. we're going to do here is to, we're going to make a tortilla just to show people how it's done. Right. So, you know, traditional Mexican women would spend hours every day grinding corn. Mm. And in their house they have a big stone thing. It's called to, a to grind it? Mm -hmm. 
and they spent hours grinding corn. Wow. And then they would take the corn and make it like this, and then they spend time making tortillas. So the kind of corn to make this, mm -hmm. did you make this? No. Oh, we okay. bought this at Rancho Market. It's not oh, Macy's. Okay. I'm sorry, they don't <laughs> have this here at Macy's. Right. But the Mexican store, Rancho Market, has it for sale for anybody. Oh, okay. So you can just go and buy it already pre-made. Mm -hmm. You can even buy it with other things in it if you want. Oh, okay. So they make it with seasoning. So here's a little ball. And what we have here is a tortilla press. Uh -huh. okay. okay. You can pick these up at the Mexican store. We've got that upside down. You can pick them up at the Mexican store. Mm -hmm. You can make them. You can look online. They're all over the place. They're fancy ones made of wood, heavy ones made of kind of Mexican um, aluminum. And this is a standard one. We've put some saran wrap on top so that it doesn't stick. You can use wax paper, whatever mm -hmm. you want. So you put the doll, in, the, the doll up in. Let's get it to the right side. And then we'll turn it. Okay, I still have it upside down. Obviously, it's not. <laughs> we just push down on that. Push down as hard uh -huh. as you can. Okay, that looks oh like it's goodness. good. Oh, goodness. Lifted it came out the sides, didn't it? It shut out. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that will be it? That's it. We just press down, and then now you've made oh. yourself your first tortilla. Fantastic. And so what we're going to do is remove the plastic. Oh, my goodness. Oops, I messed that one up. We're going to slip the plastic off carefully so it doesn't tear the... Corn can the camera, can the, this camera see that? Um, this is the press that you get. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was not open. Now we've got your sope in there cooking. We're just going to lay this down on hot. So do you put any oil in no, that? No. Is that on? Oh, it's it is on. It's just a hot pan. Uh -huh. Now in Mexico they use what they call a comal, which is just a griddle mm -hmm. that's used only for this kind of cooking. Right. And in old houses they have a big ceramic griddle. They're amazing. Right. But a lot of people use just metal griddles. And uh -huh. So you, you put the corn on, let it cook for a while. Okay. You'll see it'll start changing color, changing texture, mm -hmm. and it will be done. And I'll tell you the taste of a homemade Tortilla yes. is so much better than the commercial ones that after you've done this, it's mm -hmm. not very hard really. Right. It's a little time, but once you've done it, you'll never want to go back. Uh. Now, if you want, there are plenty of recipes online for how to make nixtamal, mm -hmm. um, or we could get one and put it up. If you really want to do it, it's Your a lot style. of work. But on the other oh, hand, you can just go scratch, buy it. Oh, from scratch, you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or you can just go buy it from the Mexican the dough, store. Yeah. Keep it in your fridge we'll and make a little bit up whenever you want some food. You and it's it just be. corn, water, lime, and mm -hmm. the little, calcium. calcium. Part of the calcium oh, okay. is the lime. Okay? Oh. This is like it's almost ready to turn. That's and it. So you can see the texture's changed. Oh, that's hot. Right, right. Okay, let's turn it over. And we'll leave it there. And that's a uh, full First tortilla. It is indeed, because I've tasted, like you're saying, mm -hmm. and it seems almost bitter. It's just, right, it is. Yeah. Because of the way they make it commercially, right. and they also have to keep them preserved. Like so this. We, we brought oh. some tortillas. Now, these are not your oh, Lynn Wilson. Not the same. Oh, cool. Although you can often buy these in the store, and, and the Mexican community has often mm -hmm. gotten well known for making their own tortillas. Right. So, one of the ways that families oh. have gotten ahead is by starting little tortilla factories. Right. So we brought two kinds of tortillas. My hands are now corn covered. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's all good. Yeah, right? it is all yeah. good. So this is what they call a gordita. It's thicker. Uh -huh. And you can see it if you want a thicker tortilla. Right. Right. And then we brought some thin. We didn't bring the ordinary tortillas. Some thin so tortillas. this is one's ones. already done. They're done. Same as this. Same now, if you want to use this, if you don't know, you need to heat it. Right. You eat this raw, it tastes yuck. Tastes Kay. gritty and yuck. <laughs> but you heat it, or uh -huh. if it's fresh from the pan, like this, it'll be in just a minute. The flavor is totally different. This is totally different to this. This oh. is. Now, to use this, we need to cook it. We need to soften it. Right. If you go into the home of a person in Mexico City for breakfast, if they're still making their own tortillas, they'll bring you a person, uh -huh. maybe about that stack of tortillas like wow. that. People eat lots of tortillas. They're their bread. Right. It's the ordinary life, and so you get tons of them. Yeah. But, oh, boy, they are so good. Not bad. And you get <laughs> ones where they have blue corn and uh -huh. black corn and right. red corn, all these different flavors. And what would you eat with that in the yeah, Anything you want. For breakfast, you could put your eggs in there, you could put beans in there, uh -huh. you could put little chunks of meat in there. Uh -huh. Whatever you want can go in there, or you just roll it. I, this one's not able to be rolled, it's not cooked yet. Yeah. You roll it and hold it in your fingers, uh -huh. and that's your bread. Oh, and so okay. you eat it along with your food. So there, this is just a staff of life, a standard thing. So that's a thick one. I like that. And then these little thin ones here, or what they use in Mexico City and elsewhere for tacos. Right. So they're uh, much smaller, and I often people give you two of them. And you still just put cheese or something mm -hmm. in there, or? Sure, you can put some cheese in between. So mm. first of all, you heat them, so mm -hmm. they're, they change texture and color. Okay. A little bit, add a little cheese, and then grill it on your stove. It makes a wonderful quesadilla. Mm. It really is good. So yeah, we're going to be using this as we get too. our taco meat done. 
So these are our kinds of tortillas we got. We just bought them at Rancho Market. You know, there are many Mexican makers of tortillas, and I guarantee you the Mexican ones are far finer than the ones you get in most of the supermarkets. Right. Although many of these guys now are selling in supermarkets. Yeah, right. Well, you know, that's where the market is. So let me set these aside for a minute. Fantastic. And now we're going to start making some tacos. So Love it. here's your sope. So this just to you show you, leave it you made that. Oh now you can goodness. put some beans in there, get a little refried oh, beans, put lovely. them on there with a little and cheese if you want and some sauce. And off you go, you've eaten. That's what they oh, call a sope. Nice you made that sope. up. Not Still bad, a little soft, it? but it's almost ready to go. Love it. Love it. Isn't that cool? Off was for sope. My first, very and first here's tortilla. your tortilla. Got a little brown and on the side, but there's your it. first tortilla. Again, I'm going to taste it. Even go for it. We're going to eat it later with a. Salsa or something. Well, do you want a little pico de gallo to go with it? Mm. No reason we can't show See, that, that now. That's good. Can you hand me the pico de gallo? Okay. So to accompany our tacos, hold on a sec. So what? You just break it off and. Uh, wait, well, would you hand me the no, the, the uh, rajas? So these are what we call rajas. Uh -huh. They're strips of pepper. Can you hand it? See that green pepper? This one. Th these Fantastic. are this pepper that we've bl we've browned it, right? Blistered it and then peeled it. So let me just give you a couple of these. Oh, you put that on there. Mm-hmm. Why not? Let's make you a little quick taco. <laughs> little street taco. Fantastic. Taco, give I'll you some sauce. Right there. Ooh, these are still and hot, uh, so. then what we should do is uh -huh. give you just a little cheese. Teresa, oh, can you give okay. me a knife, please? Ooh. Just this Since is how we do it. We do it the So this, way. this right here is what they call cotija cheese. Okay. It's an aged cheese. Uh -huh. And so you kind of crumble it. Uh -huh. And it's used, you can put it on pasta, you can put it on anything. Okay. It's a little salty, but it's really very good. So we brought it precisely to put Almost on tacos. It's like a, a goat cheese. Yeah, although it's a cow cheese. There you go. So go ahead and try that. Okay, and then I, I just fold this like mm -hmm. that's what they would do? Yeah, it's a little thick. You made a little thick oh, one. Oh, okay, so usually it would be thinner. Yeah, All right. you make it thinner and it'd that's be... That's why you would eat so many mm -hmm. of them. Okay. Mm. But how is that? Mm. Is that a Fantastic. vegetarian heaven or not? It is, really. Well, it's not a vegan heaven oh. because we've got the cheese, but you could be not totally vegan if you wanted on right. it. Right. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, and I bet the boys are going to be jealous. They're going to want you to make some tortillas. <laughs> so off. you're going to be busy when we're off camera. I really am, Making yes. tortillas for everybody. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take one more bite, and then what are we going to go on Then we're do? going to be making some tacos. Okay. And this will go very fast. It's very easy. We're going to be making the fillings, mm -hmm. and then we'll heat some tortillas, and we're ready to go. Fantastic. We will take a break right here, right now, and but stay tuned and stay here for more of Dr. David Knowlton's food. Thank you. Welcome back to Macy's Cooking Corner. I'm your host, Afro Danes, and we have the lovely Dr. David <laughs> Knowlton. And we've been cooking up some tortillas, the original style, right? Mm -hmm. The original homemade. Original I swear homemade. you went to heaven. Oh, I really did. <laughs> I really just had to eat the whole thing before we could come back. Anyway, <laughs> now we're going to, um, your taste buds are going to be, what, what are we going to say? The taste oh, buds are going, going to, to be. Turn them on. Turn them on. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, we're going to be turning them on so much really? they may have to uh, <laughs> kick the children out of the really? room. No, exactly. just kidding, <laughs> kidding. We are totally G-rated. We really are, <laughs> but it's really good. It's good so, to eat good food. Oh, it really is. And really? You know, you have good ingredients. Mm -hmm. The food is so tasty. Right. In fact, one of the complaints Mexicans have about American cooking uh -huh. when they play Mexican is that they throw so much crap in it. Right. So yeah. the flavors get muddy. Mud yeah. If you taste anything where it's not clear and mm -hmm. bold, it's probably American. Right. So this Mexicans like the bold flavors, the mm -hmm. pure flavors. So what I brought today is some Mexican cheeses. Okay. Because Mexico has its whole world of cheese. Now these are ones that are made in the United States, but they're Mexican style. Mm -hmm. So this one is a, what they call a Oaxaca, it's spelled O-A-X-A-C-A. -A -A. You can see it's braided, mm. and in that we'll open in a minute. But this is basically a mozzarella. Okay. And uh, it, they braid it mm -hmm. and so that it comes together. But this is a good melting cheese. It has way more flavor than our mozzarella. Hmm. We already got to know the cotija, the aged that was cheese. Good, yeah. The grating cheese. Do you want to take a little piece oh. off there just so you can see what it tastes like yeah. by itself? A little salty, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah. But it has that little sour yeah. milk flavor. Yes. As I said, that's great on pasta. You know, you right. like Parmesan. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But some days you want something different, just take, make some linguine or spaghetti. Right. And drizzle it with a little olive oil, maybe some garlic if you want. And, and, the, and crumble that ah, on it. Whole different world. Wow. You'll love it. Okay. And I use it on beans and all kinds of things. Hmm. Then we brought another cheese. It's called panela. Now, this cheese is special in that you can cook it mm -hmm. and it fries. Wow. So it's not just going to turn into a massive melt on the pan, right. God willing. Yeah. <laughs> but it fries. And okay. so that's kind of cool. It has to do with the way they've processed the cheese. And so this right. is a great cheese. It's a part skim milk cheese. Mm -hmm. It's called a panela. So we're going to give these to Teresa now so she can help us by prepping them. Fantastic. And in the meantime, I want to make these little goodies. Now, how do these taste good. to you? Very good. I now, mean, they have a wonderful kind of spicy flavor, they don't do, they? Yeah. So what these are, they're just strips of this pepper. So this is not a normal green pepper, no, is it? No, 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 okay. no. Nor is it a green chili. Okay. This is what they call a, a poblano chili. That is to say a chili from the city of Puebla. Uh -huh. Poblano. It's a mild chili. It's not very hot. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while you get a spice one, but generally they're not. And normally it's a very flavorful chili, although mm -hmm. I have to say that because they've improved the variety in the United States, mm -hmm. many of them are now coming really pretty and flavorless. Uh, and so this is an ongoing struggle. You want ones that are flavored if you can get them. Right. But in any case, they're good. So this has a really thick skin on it. Can mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. Definitely. So what we need to do is peel that sucker off. So here we've got some flame oh, going. Okay. We're just going to lay that on the flame. Now you so can like you would peel a tomato exactly. when you're taking the skin off. Exactly. You'd flame mm -hmm. it. Right. And the flame also gives it flavor, you know. It mm -hmm. slightly cooks it. Right. Or it chars. In fact, the Mexicans love to char tomatoes right. and onions. Oh. oh, it would make a wonderful sauce. Right. Can you hear that thing going yes, off? Like a little it. bit like popcorn, popcorn on the apricot trees. Right, yes. <laughs> okay, only this is the pepper popping. Oh. And we're going to let it blister on all the sides. Uh -huh. And as it blisters, it'll just sit there and pop. We'll kind of smell it, pay attention to it, turn it, right. and then we'll let it steam. Just put it in a bag, let it steam. Mm -hmm. Teresa sets hers in the freezer for a minute or two. and then. But anyway, it just cools it down. The skin separates. You can just take a paper towel or take your mm -hmm. fingers, slip the skin right off, seed it, and dice it, and, or uh, julienne it like we did there. See oh, how it's blistering? Oh, fantastic. Okay, can you see that? It's just a start yeah, on a blister. Right. But that's just going to take all the skin off, okay? We're going to leave that one to cook now. Okay. So in the meantime, let's mm -hmm. take something else. Can I have, yes. can you reach me the dried chilies there? The dr oh, these, yes, mm -hmm. beautiful. Now these chilies are mm -hmm. those poblanos, the, when they're dried, now they're called pasilla, P-A-S-I-L-L-A. -S -S -L -L it's uh -huh. a different pepper, smell that. Mm. Has a really rich flavor, Very doesn't good, yes. it? Very fragrant mm -hmm. and spicy. Right. This is also one of the workhorses of the, me of the Mexican kitchen. Last time I was on, we did a Peruvian red pepper mm -hmm. that's uh, called a panca. That's a very different species. It's like this, and it also has that really rich flavor. Right. So this is the guts. It brings a really deep richness, a, a kind of a color, a dark color. Mm -hmm. So these are the dried ones. We're not going to do anything with them. This is show and tell. Oh, okay. You can buy <laughs> these at the Mexican store, so what or would you, you can buy them in a package. Then? What, would you what I would do is, you, you want to make yeah. a sauce? Take this and you get some. You can do, you can do a Mexican style where you'd set it over a flame like this and be very careful not to burn it. Just really quickly, right. so it inflates. Uh -huh. Give it a little blister. Set it in hot water. Mm -hmm. Let it soak up all the hot water, and then take the stem off. Maybe seed it. Run it through a blender. Get a puree. You have a wonderful sauce. Oh, and if you want, nice. you can even strain the sauce. Right. Now that's a great sauce for food. Mm -hmm. Or you can just take those and run it through a grinder and get yourself a nice powder. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take. And while that guy's going, we're going to start this other side on here. We're going to make up some mushrooms, although this oh, isn't the pan see. I wanted for that. Really there we good. go. Thank you. Okay, so I just put a saucepan on there. We're going to let it heat for a minute. Okay. What we're going to do is take some mushroom tacos. See how black Ooh, that's getting? Absolutely. So we're going to let that... going to turn it over. Okay. I need now to actually blister it a little too. bit, can you? can smell that. It smells good, doesn't it? It does. Strangely. Yeah. So <laughs> when we were making those, Charles was really liking that, dark, that smell. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to take those mushrooms. These are okay. portobello mushrooms that mm. Teresa was nice enough to s slice up for us. Fantastic. We're going to take a little bit of that oil once our pan's warmed up. This is what kind olive of oil? Olive oil. Just olive oil, okay. Straight up olive oil. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take the olive oil. I'm going to give it a squirt of the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Throw in our, our mushrooms. We're going to, well, we'll add some garlic first. Okay. Throw in our mushrooms. We'll mushrooms add, and garlic? Uh-huh. Oh, we're going to add the ground pepper, which is over there. Can you see that little this jar? One? Uh -huh. This one? Mm. And a little cumin and some now, salt and pepper. This pepper is It's the ground of those. Oh, Take a little okay. pinch and taste it. Is it really hot then? No, it's not hot at all. <laughs> 
I don't want to be gagging here. You know? No, this is the coward's pepper. Oh. It's not hot. No. It's mild, isn't mild, it? Mild, yeah. What do you no. think of that flavor, though? Good. It's kind of like sweet, it. isn't sweet, it? Sweet, yes. But it's rich at the same time. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, meaty. Right. And this is what makes it so great mm. for vegetarian cooking because it is just packed with, with flavor. With flavorings, yeah. yeah. I love that. Okay, our herbs. pan is warming up. Let's get some olive oil in there. So how many years has it taken you to learn all of this, that the I richness of all? I don't know. I've just been cooking since I was a uh, boy. Um, my mother was in a car wreck, and mm -hmm. I'm the oldest child, and my father couldn't boil water wow. without burning it. Right. And so some we had to eat, and so I got on the phone with my grandmother, and, and then when my mother was better, I just kept cooking. Mm -hmm. And so I learned, and I remembered what we'd done when we lived on the border, having uh, women from northern Mexico who lived in our house. You right. know, we'd call them maids. Mm -hmm. But just remember. So this became part of the cooking. We need to let that heat so that it actually this does one something. This one's about ready. It's not quite. Do you need a plate? Not so yet. We'll okay. See that tip? We need to actually let that thing <laughs> burn a little bit and, and cook. So is that affecting, though, the skin underneath? Or it, is it starts cooking it. So you can taste that. Oh. It's not exactly raw, but it's not exactly cooked, is it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So this you can still is, see a little of the char on it. Okay. How do you like that flavor? It's good. And it is crunchy, good. Yeah. And it is crunchy. Mm. So that's in Mexican oh, Spanish, right. that's called a raja. Oh, raja. 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 Sounds like Arabic, doesn't it? It does. Raja actually. in Hebrew is forbidden, but mm. it's not raja in Hebrew, it's raja in Spanish. Raja. Okay. Yeah, it's a different kind of thing. Raja in Hebrew is what haram is, I think, for the Arabs. Right. Okay, I think our pan is probably here, so we're just going to set the mushrooms in there. And if you, where's the garlic? It's right there. Let's set that in. And we're just going to let this cook a little bit. <coughs> I love, I love, I could eat like this every day of the week. And I need a spoon to stir Great. it if I could. And so we're just going to let that cook for a minute. Okay. And then we'll prep something else. Mm -hmm. And we're just racing through this really fast. So you just put the mushrooms in there with the garlic. Mm -hmm. and we're going to stir it. Stir it in. And okay. we're just going to let it cook until the mushrooms start letting go their juice. Right. And that doesn't take very long. Mushrooms cook up really fast. Can you smell okay. that already? Absolutely, You smell yeah. the perfume of the garlic and the mushrooms. Lovely. And you hear on the camera the sound of metal on metal, yeah. which is not pleasant. But that's going to cook up nicely. Fantastic. And so as soon as the mushrooms cook down a bit, uh -huh. we're going to take it. Let me take that out of there. I don't have put it over here. And we'll then add the chili powder uh, and a little salt, one? and we're ready to go. Oh, so how much is this? It's a, it should be a there. couple of tables. That looks like it's about two and a half tablespoons. Two okay, mm -hmm. so how much mushroom? We had about 12 ounces of mushrooms. We're going to add a little less okay. than, than oh, what's okay. there. Right. Okay, lovely. just to mix it. And you'll I notice this just makes a wonderful filling flavor. And you might think, well, you know, but what? Yeah. But with the addition of that in the mushrooms, it's going to be so flavorful. Mm -hmm. You won't even notice that it. it'll seem like it's very meaty and right. very satisfying. And a lot of um, vegetarians use mushrooms mm -hmm. as a meat. Sure, it? sure. And it does taste that. It's well, and portobellos have that darkness, yeah. you know, when they cook up. Right. So you use the more mature ones and make them into strips. Mm -hmm. You know, you could also do something like this with tofu if you want. Get oh, tofu, like yes. a baked tofu, uh -huh. and then slice it, saute it, and then with a little garlic, add, add your this. chili. Oh. Mix it in, you'd have another taco. There you go. Oh, that's so there's another idea. Yes, I didn't think okay. that. Okay. So good our idea. chili here is just about done. Cook that side of it. Try that. Do that tomorrow. Just let it cook down. Okay, so when we're done with that, mm -hmm. the next thing we may as well be prepping these. Okay. So here we took some Idaho yellow potatoes. This, we, they're just basic Idaho gold potatoes. Mm -hmm. And we boiled them, and then Teresa, as once they cooled, Teresa was kind enough to peel them. Right. We're going to use these as a taco filling. Ah. In fact, this is one the of the most potato. classic tacos of all. It's just really? a potato taco. Yeah. Mexican kids love it. America, uh -huh. you're looking, what? Yeah. No, you can take these and you can slice them. Uh -huh. You could actually saute the, the, the potatoes if you want in a fry pan and a little olive oil, some garlic, uh -huh. some of the chili, uh -huh. a little bit of cumin, and just saute it so they're nice no. and flavorful. Then use those in taco filling. Okay. You can do so many With things. With everything else. Mm -hmm. oh. You can do so many things to make tacos. That's there is no nice. limit. Could I have the masher, please? Love Thank that. you. So we're just, if you want to take it, we just go mash it down. Do you want to oh, do really? that? Just a rough mash. We're not going to try to. Oh, looks like we need a bowl, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it just needs to be rough. Doesn't have to be pretty. All right. Mm -hmm. We're just doing a normal mash. Uh huh. <laughs> and those potatoes look so pretty against that kind they of turquoise do. green yes. plate, don't they? Absolutely. I can't believe that. So they were just 
again, it's another filling. Mm -hmm. And not to an inexpensive way oh, yeah. to eat as well. Yeah, and notice that we don't have any fat in there. No. The fat's going to go on the tortilla because everybody needs a little fat. Right. This, Good by fat the way, is, is ready now, so everybody oh, can see wow. it's completely blackened and, and peeled off. Do you want this and now one? we're just going to let it sit and steam, and then we can easily just slip the skin off it. See how easily ah, that goes off? Right. And so we can make it, you know, put it in a plastic bag, and it'll slip off. Fantastic. While you're doing that, I'm going to turn the mushrooms. those things are almost ready. Wow. Now if we wanted to do this a little differently, uh -huh. we could actually add a little bit of beer to this. Oh, okay. If people want to use some of that unmentionable stuff here, <laughs> um, we could throw a little bit of that in with <gasps> the tortillas. Uh -huh. and, I mean with, that, the, with that mushrooms. Is, that is something that they do too? Sure. In Mexico. Now the beer cooks down, you don't want to put too much in, okay. but it cooks down and gives a little more depth. So it just depends on what you want. We're not doing that. Okay. I'm going to put in the chili. So I use what, maybe a third of that. We'll just check that for flavor. Look in a minute here. Add a little bit more. Did some work here. Can you smell that off what? Oh, it smells fantastic. Okay, I need some salt. So here. again at the mm -hmm. um you need some salt here. Come. Thank you. So you can get these um seasonings, the spices mm -hmm. at general um, You can. Mexican stores? Yes, so the ground, you can often buy the ground pasilla at grocery stores. I didn't yeah, see it here at Macy's. Macy's yeah. I was worried they might not have it, so I didn't look. Right. But you can often find it at the general stores. And so I bought it, I bought it ground like this at, at, right. at uh, the Mexican store. Right. But it's very easy to get. And if you don't want to use this dark chili, you can just use California chili. Okay. Can you hand me, when you get a moment, a little yes. bit of the cumin? Let's just okay. get a, a little okay. splash of cumin in there. And we are ready to go on these guys. Okay. Now let's get that before the camera. Oh wow! Can you see mm. that? Here, why don't you? It's going to be hot, but if you want to take oh, and that try smells one, smells great. Can you do that with your fingers? That's too hot. Do you want to? It looks hot. Yeah. It's, okay. Let's That's leave good. it Let's then. Let's it cool. <laughs> yeah. But you'll find out how good it is when it goes in with the yes. tortilla. Oh, I know. Let me set that over there. It smells okay, good. Okay. Now what we need to do, yes. we can leave that. We've got, still got some t potato there. Okay. Let's just take those and season it a little bit with some salt. Mm-hmm. Okay, would you mind trying to stir that in? Okay. Mix it in. Mix it. Mm-hmm. I think. We can also add a little pepper if we want. Black pepper, ground yeah. pepper. Yeah, mm -hmm. that depends on people's mm -hmm. preference. So I'm just going to do salt right now. Okay. Okay, let's add a little bit more because that's a lot good. of potato. That is a lot of potato. How many potatoes? How many pounds? Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly. So for a meal, for well, all we of did. this, how many people will it feed? You know. Well, we can easily feed as many as we want. Oh. But for that 12 ounces, this is going to be very little, so people would get Isn't just a little bit on a tortilla. Right, right. Now, we could easily double or triple this. Right. So it doesn't take much. We could easily feed a troop with this. The potatoes are going to feed a lot. Mm. Okay? Right. And now the next thing we're going to do is fry up some cheese. Okay. So while you're working on that? That special cheese that you were talking yep. about, the pal something. It's called, very good, it's the panela. Panela. Okay, this is the, this is the, um, the moderate, the, what I call the mozzarella. Do you want to taste that? Okay. We're going to use that mm. with the potatoes for those tacos. Okay. And those rajas are going to go in to make those tacos. Mild. Very mild. Very mild, This is yeah. panela. Very different flavor. Is this the one that you crumbled? We're going to fry. You're going to fry this. This is the one? crumbled one, uh huh? Okay. These are a little falling mm. apart. Let my pan heat, and then we're just going to fry the cheese, and you'll see how mm. it makes nice little kind of meaty, meaty wow. spaces. Delish. Isn't that good? Yeah, really good. Very basic, though, isn't it? Yes. And so we'll get to meat good? here in just a minute. So you see, I'm just going to set the cheeses in here, and when each one of these is going to fry up. When you try all these different foods, you realize that there's good food out there mm -hmm. that I think. We it don't really know is. About. Yeah. It really is. And there is a choice of food you can. Let's we put can a little salt in. There's food for everybody. Yes. You know what we're doing here? You could easily do this with some garbanzo beans. Oh. Mash them. Yeah. Mix your garbanzos oh. with the potatoes, Very and make another nice. taco. In other words, a taco is just a tortilla wrapped uh -huh. around something. Something, yeah. And so you can use whatever you want to put in it. You can what be very purist. Right. If you want, go look for the formal recipes from different regions. Right. Although every <laughs> woman, every family has their own recipes. Right. Or you can just be creative. The catch is an aesthetic. You want to keep things rather clean and mm -hmm. bold. Right. So the straight up flavors 
rather, although I did make that a little complex with the mm -hmm. seasoning. Mm -hmm. But what you don't want to do is go for mud, as I said. Right. And Americans often go for, and we, we're not the only ones, other people also make Mexican yeah. food by going for mud. Right. Now you can see as this is frying, it's oh, letting wow. off liquid. Right. Okay, and that's okay, we're just going to leave it there, let it brown on the bottom, it will start, it will start melting a little bit, mm. become delicious, <laughs> and we're going to Didn't be ready to go for a minute. Cheese. Okay, well, you know what we can start doing now? We can start preparing our potato tacos. They're frying up very nicely. Mm -hmm, they are. And so now with the mm -hmm. potatoes all mashed up. We're going to take and we're just going to take it. Why don't you take the tortilla yeah. and take a spoonful uh -huh. and just put it on there. Let's spread it out oh, a bit. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit more on there. Beautiful. Okay. Doesn't that look good? It does. Now we're going to have fun because we just want to I get that on there. I have never done potatoes and tortillas. Okay. Now you want to take a strip or two Do of that. I don't know that. Lay it on top lengthways. Yeah. Like put this? another one if you want. Yeah. Now let's take a piece of this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is roll it. So we pull it to an end, uh -huh. just like that. Let's roll it, and we're going to set that down on a plate, okay. and then we're going to pan fry it. Oh. So this is a rolled potato taco. No way. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Fantastic. Um, we need something to set it on. There's a plate. So we can just oh, make up I a bunch of these. Let's it. try another one. Shall Fantastic. we? So we don't have to turn that? We should turn those, shouldn't oh, we? Oh, look at that. Looks like they may have gotten a little brown on its side. Yeah, oh. the pan's a little hot, but it's okay. They'll be fine. Okay. Should we turn it down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. There we go. Okay, we want to nice. let them dry out. Oh, okay. A bit, and so they'll be fine. That's the milk fats that was separating. They kind of browned a bit there on the bottom, but that's mm -hmm. just a dark brown. Okay. Wow. I learn something new every week. Yeah, and actually this one on the potato, the cheese, uh -huh. is something I learned to do in Bolivia. Oh, did you? Because I'm using Mexican cheese, so it may as well be a Mexican product. <laughs> That's right. As I said, you can be creative, okay. so you want to roll one? Right, okay. You get one, and then I'll get one. All oh, right. So we put some of this in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make this for your boys. Oh, absolutely. Or you, you have this a daughter too, don't you? I don't. Oh, just boys. Your boys <laughs> will love them. They will. Yeah, be mac and cheese. Hungry. Yes, exactly. Can I take a strip oh, of the pepper? Let's take it. Then we go. Oh. Or two. Or two. And let's separate that one. There we go. Mm -hmm. and, then and some of that cheese. And this one was the This is the mozzarella. Oaxaca. Kind of mozzarella. Okay. And if you want to, yeah, fold it over beautifully. Look at beautifully that. done. Um, yep. Okay. Oh. If you want to put a little strip on that. Okay. And roll it. Oh, that smells great, that cheese. Kind of doesn't it? It's kind of got a wonderful meaty flavor, doesn't yes. it? Yes. All right, let me do this. Okay, another strip on there. Fold oh. them pretty tight. That yeah. one's a little loose. That one's a loose, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, let me, let me help with that. Yeah. So what we want to do, make sure we do it, we want to take this, uh -huh. bring it oh. over here with our fingers okay. so that we can pull it back like that to tighten it down. Right. Then oh. roll it tightly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It'll be okay, you want to do this one? No, Put I'll some, watch. Okay, would you mind giving me some <laughs> chili? Yeah, let's do all these apart. Okay, like doesn't that. that look pretty though? It does. It's just beautiful. And the colors are fantastic. Uh -huh. They're really nice, so we just pull it back. Okay. We, we then roll it tightly, get it in there, roll it tightly. Right. And there we go. Okay, we're oh. losing a little bit. But Probably. nobody said cooking was never no, exactly. a messy thing. You know, the difference is you watch people like Emerald, when he did, when he did his show, he, he's really messy. Is he? <laughs> but then they'd clean it up. <laughs> so. There we go. One of these. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's get this one. Oh, okay. This one right there? Yep. And then put a little another one on there. Okay, I think our cheese is ready to go. Would okay. you like to work on I that? I would we'll like to. Work on the cheese to. a bit. Do this like a pro. Oh, that one was much better. They're almost ready. Better fold there. Quite impressed. Okay, I'm going to take some other cheese and put it in here too. That reminds me of um, 
when I heard that people also fry Snicker bars. Oh, yeah? That's what that reminds me of. Isn't it strange to fry cheese? <laughs> to fry cheese, that's right, just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just but seems like such a strange thing to do, but it actually is delicious, oh. as you'll find out in just a minute here. All right. Then if I could have maybe a little plate or something, that green plate with the, with the sopiano, it's great. Yes. Let's just set these on this plate here to let them so cool So now that this is the fried cheese coming out, mm -hmm. okay? Let me just and then we're going to use the same pan for the... Um, we, we need to clean it, and then we'll use it. Put a little oil in it, and we'll use oh, it. Or we can okay. use another fry pan. Okay. See the fried cheese? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get that off there so it's not going to brown too much. And move that one over there. Okay. Really? Ready to go here. I wonder what it tastes like, too. Here, taste a piece. Oh, that little piece right there, just taste it. Well, that's a big piece. That's yeah, good enough. Okay, I'll cut it off there. It has your name on it. It has my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. It's kind of different, isn't it? It is. But you have it, it really is good when you get used to it. You know, it's got the nice texture of the brown on the side. Mm -hmm. And we could cook it further so it doesn't have the, still the creaminess right. of the cheese. Yeah. It's a little gooey, but it, some people like that. Other people prefer it cooked down until it's really solid. Right. It just it's depends on your like taste. Um, you know when you microwave for... Mm -hmm cheese and you microwave it. My yeah. kids used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Almost exactly. Just but the flavor is better. Well, let's take this fry pan, actually. Is there another fry pan there that I could use? Please. Hmm. Wow. Trying to get that turned on for, well, for the cheese. There we go. Fabulous. Cheese over there. So and this fried this fry cheese pan. is going to go with which We're going to put it? in a tortilla with the sauces. Okay. We're almost done, oh, by the way. Is this going fast? Yes, it is. It really is. Okay. So this is enjoyable. This is something I can see my children helping in. Mm -hmm. doing Absolutely. Especially their tortillas. They'd love to do that. They'd love to I make need them. To, yeah, I'm going to get myself a, mm -hmm. a little press. Then you practice, you can get it thin so they'll roll. Uh -huh. Or you can just so see them thick. So you would do less mm -hmm. and then... No, you can still get them thin a little bit less. I put that a bit much. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I like that. Mm -hmm. that, that would be fun. I think okay. I would enjoy that. So we're ready. We're just waiting now for this pan to uh, get to where it's heated. And the rest of the cheese is here cooking. I think nice. we're fine. Right. So actually, why don't we just leave that over here? Okay. Yeah. So we're getting ready oh, to go. Oh, let's taste some of the mushroom. Oh, you want to taste no, one another cool down? down. With Wonderful. The, yes, with the... Um, with the chili with on the chili it. With now that it tastes a little too chilly-ish, what mm. we can do is put a little liquid in there mm -hmm. and it'll soften no, up. No, I like that, the flavor. It's nice, it's isn't it? It's definitely, yeah. And, yeah. and if you don't even like mushrooms, that has the, taken yeah, away. Yeah, it's given it that whole different flavor. Definitely. So it, these make, it actually tastes quite meaty. It does, yeah. As yes. you'll see. Yeah. So we're going to fry, as soon as this is heated, uh -huh. we're going to fry up those tortillas. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we may as well start that right now. Yeah. Let's get another fry pan going here, since we're running short on time. Mm -hmm. It is getting late. We'll put that one here. Okay. And we'll set that fry pan right there. And we'll let it dry up, and we're going to start the meat. Oh, I forgot And so we're ready that. to go. So what kind of meat are you going to use all today? I got, all I got here was a thin little beef steak. Okay. I'll show Very it to nice. you in a minute. Now, what I did before the show started, uh -huh. I took it and separated it, and I salted and peppered it, and then I put a little cumin on, right. and just a teeny little sprinkle of this. Okay. And then I squeezed lime juice on it. Oh, very and nice. And the lime juice is a softener, but it also gives a wonderful flavor. Mm. You remember when we did the Peruvian show, we yes, talked about lime. Yes, that's right, yeah. Mexican used lime, too, so it's a very good seasoning, very good spice for so food. So what, why lime and not lemon? Lime is more acidy. Than the lemon. Uh, and oh. in fact, in, in Latin countries, they don't do lemons mostly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is called a limon, a lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a lima. In Spain, it's a lima, a lime. Right. But in Latin America, lima is a whole different fruit. Mm -hmm. So this is the only limon they know. They don't know yellow lemon. Right. And this has a different flavor. It's sharper, more acidic. Mm -hmm. And it works as a wonderful flavor enhancer for food. Wow. And so they use it as one of the common condiments in mm -hmm. almost everyday cooking. So you get very used to it. Now what we're doing is just waiting for our pan to heat a little bit. So that in the meantime, we're going to turn this and get it over. How's that pan doing? Not quite there yet. These are very nice thick pans and so they maintain their flavor. Yeah. Oil. So what we're gonna do is just fry those up. This is where you might wanna use just some basic vegetable oil. Right. Whatever you like to fry in to give it a nice seal. We don't wanna really deep fry it. Right. We're just going to seal the 
seal the tortillas and then turn them over so they kind of crisp up on both sides. These are what are called uh, flautas, which means flute, or mm -hmm. they're also just called taquitos, this? little tacos, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Or they're also known as rolled tacos. So when that's hot, it's not quite there yet. Right. We're going to set them with the sealed side, the down. rolled side down, okay. so they seal closed. Mm. And then we're just going to turn them over, and they'll be ready to go, and very and soon we're going to plate so these you up. So you haven't added anything, but it will seal. What, what the will outside seal won't, but the taco is going to go crisp. Oh. In the meantime, the cheese will melt in there. Right. The potato will also, will also cook, mm -hmm. and you'll see the flavors just come together beautifully. Mm -hmm. okay. And we're going to serve it with a little bit of sauce, a little sour cream. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you serve it with some avocado. Right. Um, it just depends on what you want. These are very classic tacos. Right. So that's getting warm. It's still a little bit on the cold side, but we'll set it in there. Oh, See, it's it's cooking a little bit. No, it's going to turn this one down. Is this one down? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. getting a little hot, isn't it? How's that one doing? We're getting into more kind of standard kitchenish where it gets <laughs> too a lot of lot of different pans going. Going at the same time. Yeah. Okay, those are doing pretty well. We can probably turn that off. Okay, that's getting there. See how that's cooking? Oh, okay, yeah. And we'll just set the others in. Right. Just let them start cooking. And as soon as they're browned on the bottom, we turn them, and we let them cook on the other side. Mm -hmm. Squeeze those together. I think we have enough room in there for all of these puppies. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah. Okay, easy, let those easy. cook. And you just have your taquitos. And we can make more, as right. much as we want. In the meantime, we have these lovely potatoes. Right. That you can, if you have leftover, you can make into a mash. Right. You can do a lot of things with mashed potatoes. So here are these little thin steaks that we just picked up here at Macy's. Uh -huh. You can kind of see them. They're very finely cut. Um, this is how Macy's does it. Or you can go to a Mexican market and buy much larger ones. They're still very thin. Right. And this is what they call a carne asada. Now, you can grill this on a barbecue. It'd cook up really fast. You can do it in a fry pan like we're going to do it. And you can see the one side that I actually had seasoned more. Right. The back side I seasoned mostly with salt and a little pepper. Uh, OK? Right. Very so nice. let's just let's see how that's heated. So these, these are the meats that will also go with the tortillas if you yep. choose to. We're just going to cook them up. Right. And then we're going to slice them. Yeah. And they're ready to go. So we'll put in here a little bit of oil right. just to kind of seal the pan, let it heat. That's a great idea. Okay, those are doing And you pretty have well. these specially um, sliced like this? No, we b I just bought them here at Macy's. Oh, okay. So right. they come that way. They're very thin. If you want, you can take regular meat as you mm -hmm. wish. You can cook it, right. season and cook it, and then mm -hmm. slice it. You can take the meat and boil it to where it's falling oh, apart. Okay, yeah. You can take and cook it in your oven. You have leftover roast after Sunday dinner. Oh, and Just kind of cut thing. it into yeah. pieces, okay. put it in a fry pan with a little broth, and then use it, cook good. it down, and use that in tacos. You can do so many things for tacos. You certainly can. Yeah, so our, our pan here is getting pretty good. Still needs to heat a bit more, but you can see how the oil's moving. Right, See yes. the oil's mm -hmm. hot? Yeah. It's heated. You don't want olive oil to smoke. So okay. you want to get it to where it's just hot enough. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's almost there. We're just going to lay these in, and those are going to cook really fast. You want to just lightly brown them on the side, and then we'll turn them, cook them on the Easy. other side, and then we'll take them out, get slice them, and we're ready to go. Let me take my spatula and see how these guys are doing here. This is going well. The see how that looks? and the smells are great. Okay, this is a little tight, so it's going to be just a little tricky to turn oh, it. Oh, okay. But, but it's can you sealed, see? yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that one just nice. lost a little potato. That one needs to cook probably. Oh, it's pretty good. See, there we go. Yeah. Let's turn them carefully and let them cook on the other side. Right. And again, that's a few minutes. Not that didn't take No, that you long. can cook up this whole meal mm -hmm. for your boys. Just make some quick little tacos with and it, yeah. potatoes oh. and cheese and so on. And and they're going to be fine. Now, while well, these are cooking, let me show you what we're using. As I said, okay. this is called a pico de gallo. Mm. It's losing its liquid a little bit. Okay. But all it is is a, is a diced tomato, right. diced onion, some minced uh, um, cilantro. Oh, cilantro. And because the tomatoes are so mild right now, they, right. it really is in season. So I put a little bit of red wine vinegar in there okay. and some salt. And that's it. And that's all it is. Oh, it's what they call a pico delicious. de gallo. 
which means a rooster's beak. Mm. Because it's little small pieces that you can pick up. Right. Okay, oh, a classic that. sauce. <laughs> and then we have also some onions. These and Teresa these are loves. condiments, kind of. These are dressings. Add. Dressings. Oh, okay. So you add them to the tacos afterwards. Now, Americans uh -huh. like to have lettuce and shredded cheese. Yeah. There's no reason you can't do that. But we're going to add this grated cheese or, okay. or, or crumbled cheese. Our onions, we have this. Mm -hmm. and we also have some other onion. Could I have the white onion, please? The white onion has just been washed. Here you can see we've put it in a, in oh, a okay. colander. Uh -huh. And so we salted it, washed it, and it's very mild. So that would also be good on the taco. Okay, mm. and then we have some sour Love cream. It. So Love it. Um, um. I don't want to use my vegetarian implements. Teresa, could you <laughs> hand me a fork or something to be able to turn the meat? That one is falling apart. I didn't know. Oh, that one will yeah, work. Yeah. Okay, I've got one here. <laughs> See how that meat is just cooked That's up? quick. Very fast. In fact, we can add another one. Okay. And we're getting some lovely juices there, what the French would call a fond, which is just the juices to the bottom of the pan. So if you wanted, you can make a gravy, but we're not going to use a gravy for this. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> you want the plate? So we're almost ready. Now Easy. the next thing, we've got some tortillas preheated. Okay. So we'll use them, make some tacos up. Oh. And then uh, after our show, we'll heat up some more, and so and everybody can enjoy can their enjoy taco it. feast. This has been wonderful. In fact, now I cook these a little bit more so they're drier. Right. So I think what we shall do right now, we're going to have a very quick break. Okay. So we're going to bring all of the foods together that Dr. David Knowlton has made today, and let you feast on what he, we have created today. So it will stay be good. here. Welcome back to the last part of our wonderful Macy's Cooking Corner with Dr. David Knowlton. My friends, this is just delicious what we have here. And I would love for you to explain to everyone okay. the final parts where we're going to put it okay. all together with the meat mm -hmm. um, that you quickly fried up and tastes mm -hmm. absolutely delicious if you want to eat that. <laughs> there, yes. Yeah, no, we're all set, ready to go. So uh -huh. let me tell you what we've got here. We've got our pico de gallo sauce. Here we have our tortillas. I'll show this to you in a minute. And I really should have showed you how to heat them. You can oh, put okay. a little teeny little bit of oil in a pan mm -hmm. or do a dry if you want. Just heat them. Mm -hmm. You'll see them soften on one side, start puffing a little bit, turn them over. You don't want them to brown. Right. And they soften, then you can keep them in a towel like this to stay warm right. and humid. So we sliced up some lime so that people can season it with lime. Here's some cilantro that we just took the leaves off so you can see the leaves there. Mm -hmm. Radishes that Teresa was kind enough Lovely. to chop up. We've got this white onion. Pico de gallo, we said here's our grated cheese, just our cotija. This is an onion that we minced, washed, and then we've been letting it sit for about an hour now mm -hmm. in lime juice and orange juice. Mm. Once you give it a nice citrus flavor, there is our mushroom, fried cheese, here's a little bit of the Oaxaca cheese. Then we still have some rajas if people want. Mm -hmm. So that gives us a whole lot of different things. And then things. this one? Oh, and these are our caquitos. Right. They have a little bit of mashed potato taco. Let me pick one up. You can kind of see there the way that it has the cheese melted. that melted. Okay, it's really Beautiful. good. So let's first of all put this on a plate. Would you okay. have me a plate? Yes. We'll just set it there. And you can see that little package of sour cream. Okay. Now we should have gotten oh. Mexican crema at the Mexican store, but to be honest, I forgot. Can you hold this okay. for me, please? Okay. Let's just take and squeeze a little bit. Whoops, that's a lot. <laughs> squeeze a little mm -hmm. bit of on it. Okay, we'll set that down over there. Take a little bit of the pico de gallo sauce. Do that well. Let's put it on there. Now you tell oh, me, is that pretty or is that, that pretty? That is beautiful, look at that. And we can even put a little bit of cheese on it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and there you have a potato and cheese and raja taco. Wow. Now let's make up a different taco. Okay. So we have two different kinds of tortillas here. We have, these feel like they're the regular sized ones, mm -hmm. the gorditas. Okay. And then we have the smaller ones. I want to take the more delicate, smaller ones right now. 
they're commonly used for tacos, okay? Okay. So we've heated them, and while we were waiting, they got a little cold, so I just reheated them in the microwave in the, in the, in the, the, the cloth. Mm -hmm. So let's take a little bit of cheese and put it on there. Mm. Okay, now, what should we put on it? This is the choice that you can make. Everybody can make their own choice. As you do it, you can put a little bit of this on it. Mm -hmm. Pico de gallo. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my hot pepper in here. Oh, well, another time. Can you hand me that yellow pepper? Okay, this one? I forgot to do it, but this is a manzano pepper. It's really quite spicy. We're going to leave it out now because I forgot. That's but okay. we just <laughs> take and slice it and mince it, okay. and it goes beautifully in there. Let's put a little bit of these pickled onions on it. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that would go well. Let's give a nice little contrast flavor. And wow. then we can set that down as is. And see, isn't that a pretty taco? It, it, it really just is. Just set it down like that. Oh, or you can fold it if you want. Oh, OK. You fold, fold it to eat it. Like that. So there's taco number two. Let's Beautiful. take taco number three. Mm. Let's take our mushrooms. OK, we just put a little bit on here. OK, and then again, what should we put on it? Well, how about we put a little bit of this on it? Mm -hmm. A little bit of our plain white onion. How about we put a little cilantro? And how about just a squeeze of lime juice? Come on, cilantro, don't be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> like cilantro is thinking, says, no, we won't go on there. Okay, give okay. a little squeeze of lime juice. Okay, get that and juice on there. And this is what they do. Say so they would okay. just put the whole thing on the table. Mm -hmm. However you want. And everybody can put it on as they wish. We just put a little radish on. That one's ready to go. Yeah. Okay, now okay. the other thing. Since we got some ravenous meat eaters here, Let's take a big taco. Okay. Okay, our big tortilla. We take some of this meat that I just took those and slice them. We grill them, slice them. Unfortunately, they're cooling down a bit now. Put a healthy helping. I think that requires some pico de gallo. We'll give a nice helping of that. Let's give them some cheese. Oh, they've got to have another splash of, of lime, don't they? Mm -hmm. I think there's still some juice in that one. Don't want a lot. Just a little bit, maybe some radishes. And just because we don't want them to feel bad, we'll just give them a little bit of this pickled onion. OK? Just a little bit. Now, this is where you can think through your aesthetics however you want. Mm -hmm. And it's ready to go. Now, would, would you lay it down open? or You can lay it down open, or that one works better folded. OK. Now, how's that? Four different tacos. Fabulous. That is just absolutely beautiful. Look at this. And this was made. It didn't take very long, actually. No, it really didn't. We and did four. Four different types, yeah. yes. <laughs> it is fantastic. Again, we are so grateful to have Dr. David Knowlton here teaching us how, um, how it's really made, the, the corn tortillas, mm -hmm. how they were made, what we add to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can make it at home now. And now I can make it at home. It's really easy. Just need to get my press, right? You, know, you can go get a taco press, a tortilla press at the Mexican That's store right. tomorrow. Absolutely. That's <laughs> right. We are grateful. This is great. We are here every Thursday here at Macy's in Spanish Fork at se uh, 7 o'clock. And we'd love for you to come. And you also get to enjoy some of these, these wonderful flavors. Um, that's been presented here. So until next time, thank you again. Oh, thank you, Afu. It's wonderful. always a delight oh, to be with you. No, this is great. Um, we will see you next week. And oh, could you tell our friends what this is again? Okay, so these are four different tacos. Four different tacos. We have the tacos of mushrooms with pasilla peppers. Mm -hmm. We have the fried cheese. We have the tomato and rajas and cheese. Uh, to, uh, what do you call it? Taquito. Uh -huh. Ito just means little. It's actually not that little, but it's a rose taco. And here's our carne asada. Beautiful. With cheese and dressings on it. And how would you say bon appetit in uh, Spanish? Buen provecho. Voilà. <laughs>